Hello everybody, Ryan the Almighty here. Uh, today I'm doing a sort of, I suppose, an update video. Just something to kind of reconnect with everybody because I have been away for a while and I haven't posted any videos for a while. So I thought I would come in and put a video out. Um, basically, right here, this is a test version of the Almighty Pack. Uh, now, it doesn't have red power in it and it's not completely final yet. Uh, it will most likely be released with 1.4.4 uh, once Red Power is released. Um, I'm very adamant on not releasing this pack until Red Power is out, um, as that's how I kind of want to play it. But I thought I would give you guys a little bit of a a quick look into what you can expect when the Almighty Pack does come out. Um, as you can see, I'm using Texture Pack. This is Faithful... Uh, texture pack. It's a 32 by 32 texture pack. Um, it's got a lot of the mod support. A lot of the mods still don't have textures, but they still show up perfectly fine. They're just not as high res as normal. Um, that's an optional install. Uh, right here we have the Almighty Flower, of course from the Almighty mod, which is my mod. And as you can see, much like with my last pack, we've got item text. Basically shows you the text of what the item is when it's on the ground. Purely a 100% visual thing. And if you don't know from the Almighty Flower, you get orange dye. Perfect. Okay, let's run around and see what else we can find. That is interesting. Now, what I also want to ask you guys is, while I am waiting for uh, Red Power to come out, oh, there's some carrots from 1.3 or 1.4 I think it was. Um, as I was saying, while I am waiting for Red Power to come out to release the Almighty Pack, I want to kind of do something else. I want to do some sort of video series that you guys would be interested in. I'll turn my volume down a bit, because I can't hear. Um, so, if there's anything in particular that you guys want to see me do, uh, any sort of Let's Play, uh, tutorials, pretty much anything that you guys are interested in, I will look into it. I want to do something. Uh, you want to see me play a, a, a PC game, a, an, an old retro game, a PS2 game, anything. Just something which is going to interest you guys. So let's keep running around. Of course, there's a rubber tree from Industrial Craft 2. looking lovely with a faithful texture pack. What I will do is I will actually get a little bit of wood. Got the new sounds. Why didn't that wood break? I must have took my mouse off it too quickly. There we go. Four pieces should be plenty. As you can see there, I don't know if you saw that, but uh, another mod in this pack is right mouse button tweak. Or RMB tweak. Basically, if you have a, uh, a stack of something in your your hand, you can click in a spot and hold down the right, right mouse button, and then just drag it where you want it. Now, that's a great mod to save time. Uh, it's also good for multiplayer where you're playing on a server on the other side of the world. So I'll show you again. Do, 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 do. Just do that. I mean, it's not always perfect. Sometimes it places double, depending on the sensitivity of your mouse. And I suppose a whole bunch of other different things. But it does generally work pretty well. So let's grab an axe. And tree capitator. That's the next mod. Of course, we have to have. And let's grab a pickaxe. I'll take that with me, actually. Now, I don't want to go underground just yet, because there are... Ooh, ravine. Nice, there's... Oops, I'm going to get away from the edge so I can... Where's my zoom? There it is. Got some copper from IC2. Now, down there are some chocobos. That's right, there are chocobos in this pack thanks to Chococraft. And these aren't carrots actually now that I remember. They're Garshal Greens. 
they're what you use to tame chocobos. I see one over there, but basically that's a mod called Chococraft. It's great. It adds chocobos. If you don't know what chocobos are, they're from the Final Fantasy series. They are awesome little things. You can train them, breed them, ride them. And we got tin and uranium, all sorts of different stuff. So I'm going to grab some more of this Garshal Green. Or Gishal Green. I don't know, really know how you pronounce it. Can't believe I thought they were carrots. I'm sure someone was saying they're not carrots. I don't know what they are, but they're not carrots. Alright, so there's some chocobos over here. And I'm running out of food already. As you can see, Millionaire is also here. Whoa, that just appeared out of nowhere. <coughs> Millionaire is a optional mod uh, because it can be slow with some computers. That's why it's optional. It's recommended. Oh, then we go. There's a Chocobo Feather. Let's see what you can do with them. And crashed. I forgot about that. There is some sort of NEI bug at the moment. Uh, give me a minute, I will try and fix that. Okay, I'm back. Uh, for some reason, I hadn't installed forestry correctly, so... Alright, so yeah, these are chocobos. And with the chocobo feathers, you use them to make chocobo saddles. With string, leather, and a chocobo feather. Uh, saddle bags, which I'm assuming carry all your saddles. Uh, pack bags, no idea what they are. Uh, Loverly Gishel. Ah, no, I didn't want to do that. And then you've got your Choco Disguise Helmet. Now, I haven't really played around with this mod, but that should be interesting. And also the uses for Gishel Greens, of course, are the lovely Gishels, Golden Gishels, uh, Chibi Gishels, and Chocobo Cake. Again, not really much idea what they do. But let's basically, let's feed this guy. And he's in love with me. Pretty much just like you do with dogs and bones. He will now... Follow me? Come on. I think he follows me. I'm not honestly sure. What I'm going to do is go into cheat mode and grab a choco saddle. Let's move all this stuff up there. Let's grab my saddle. Come here, mate. Don't run away. Pop that on and get on. Now, you actually have control of these. It's not like... Um, other animals where um, you don't really have control. You can actually move it around, you can strafe forward, you can jump, you can pick up items. I think you can actually still destroy items as well. Yeah, you can destroy items. If I grab a pickaxe, I know that's really not much better. So let's grab a axe and just destroy this millionaire's house. I mean, it takes a while to destroy because it's like you are... Uh, like when you're underwater or uh, in the air, things like that. It takes a while to destroy, but this should destroy. So you can technically mine in that, but it is not really reliable. Well, not reliable, but... Um, not recommended, I suppose. So yeah, they're pretty much that's Choco Craft, a great little addition. I think it's great. So right-click to get off, and let's look at the Choco Disguise. You can actually there are spawn eggs with all the different colours. There's yellow, green, blue, white, black, gold, pink, and red. What does gold look like? Or is that ah fair enough? Uh, let's grab the disguise things. Chocopedia. What does that do? Nothing, apparently. Well, let's put on the disguise. Which you can't, apparently. Fair enough. I may have to report that. <coughs> anyway, let's heal up. Let's grab my... Ooh, okay, that's what you do. Ah... So you right-click with the Chocopedia. It will tell you who the owner is, the health, and what breed it is. Well, what gender. We can rename it. 
uh, let's call it Chibi. Why not? Uh, name hidden. You can choose whether the, the name is shown, if it will follow you or not. And there we go. Now it should follow me. There we go. It's going to actually follow me around now. So let's hop on and let's go exploring a bit more. We've got the millionaire villages, of course. I may have to start going underground. Because I think that's where most of the action is. But I do know one mod that I can show you, which I think is great. Now, this is called... Let's clear my inventory. This is called the paint gun mod. So, what you need is a paint gun. Go to the back page. Recipe. Uh, two iron ingots, a stick, a lever, and two pieces of wood. So once you get that, if you press... Uh, what is it? Okay. Uh, there's a button you press. G. You press G. You can basically select a colour. And it's going to tell you here. Five blocks per die. Uh, okay. Okay. What you need is, what was it, it's uh, red, green and blue dye. So you're going to need rose red. You're going to need uh, lapis lazuli. And green, cactus green. They're all the primary colours, red, green and blue. Basically, you press G, you can then select a colour. So say, let's go uh, this colour right here. Now, that's going to cost seven... That's going to be able to do seven blocks per die. And six blocks per die. And seven blocks per die. I don't know how the system works in the fact of calculating how much you need, but I think it means that... I honestly don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, once you've selected the colour you right click any block and it's going to paint it and as you can see it is taking the um, dies from my inventory and if you want to remove said paint all you need is sand and right click to get rid of it and of course you can change the colour again Let's go with that. Now you can paint almost anything. You can even paint mod stuff. Paint mushrooms. No, you can't paint mushrooms. I'm guessing I can't paint my chocobo. Of course not. That would be cool though. Uh, you can paint these things, I'm sure. No. Cactus. There's obviously certain limitations on things you can paint. I think it's pretty much only blocks. So, yeah, that's another good addition. Just another a visual type thing. Which I think is awesome. So, next I'm going to grab some Almighty Tools from the Almighty mod. And some armor, of course. Uh, missing the head plate. There we go. Let's get that stuff off there. And let's organise this to go for a mining trip. Alright, so... Of course, the cardinal rule of Minecraft, don't dig straight down. And I'm doing that. There's some coal... I just have a feeling that I'm going to die. It seems whenever I do this, when I'm not recording, I don't fall into lava. But whenever I am recording, I usually die. be nice to get into some sort of cavern. Alright. Oh! Alright. Oh, crap! Okay, that wasn't a good idea. I need to grab my... Oh, I need to grab my... 
Chocopedia and tell him to not follow me. Whew. Let's get the bejesus out of me. Uh, there is Forcesium from Modular Force Field System. Ah, oh, what the... I swear I just grabbed that. I think it was Forcesium. It should have been. No, it's Monazit Ore. It used to be called Forcesium. He must have changed it in the latest update. So, I'm not sure how that works. There's tin. Uh, the only ores that will be enabled in my pack will be IC2 ores. Uh, all the copper, forestry, and red power ores will be turned off, except, of course, for silver and the gems from uh, red power. It would be nice to find a cave system, but I really don't think I'm going to get that lucky. Oh yeah, and of course Matmos. Matmos comes back in my pack. So we get all these swinging sounds. And all these uh, ambient sounds like all the birds and everything. Uh, it's again another purely uh, visual audio type thing, but that's really what my pack is about. Uh, now, here we go. No lighting glitches, of course. Well, anyway, since I can't find a cave, let's just go into NEI and basically scroll through so you guys can see what's going to be in my pack. Of course, we've got Buildcraft, all your normal Buildcraft stuff. Um, instead of uh, advanced solar panels, there is this mod, which I think is called Hybrid Solar Power Panels. Uh, let's clear my inventory, and let's grab one of these. Basically, no, not the advanced solar panel. We want the... And now, instead of, cause you, instead of making the, uh, the low... What is it? The low voltage solar arrays, you make the hybrid solar panel. Which is with a lapis lazuli block, some carbon plates... Uh, no, that's not the one you make. Is it advanced? Yeah, it's advanced solar panel that you make first, sorry. Which is a solar panel, advanced circuits, advanced machine block, advanced alloys, and reinforced glass. So let's pop that down. Basically, this is, I suppose, an easier, cheaper way to make these panels. Now it generates 8 EU a tick during sunlight, and I think it generates 1 EU a tick during night. And the upgraded version of that is the hybrid solar panel, which involves iridium plates and cenarium, solarium, cenarium, which is glowstone and UU matter. So it isn't cheap, but it does work better. This generates 64 EU a tick. Now, I'm not sure about how much it generates during the night. Let's have a look. Eight EU a tick and this one generates one. So they're still generating during the night. It's not much, but it is uh, still something. And the next one is the ultimate hybrid solar panel, which requires coal chunks and scenarium, sunarium alloy, which is scenarium and iridium plates, so really not cheap. And this one generates 512 EU a tick. Now that's a lot. And during the night, I think it would be 64. Yep. So that is the biggest, well, the biggest and best solar array that you can get. So it's a great mod. Uh, definitely prefer it over uh, the solar the, the solar arrays mod. So it will be interesting. Uh, th then we got uh, not thermal N nuclear control, of course, is back in. Uh, got all these energy average counters. I have no idea what they are. I will probably be doing a mod spotlight on a few of these mods once my pack is out. Uh, Miscraft, of course. Cannot live without Miscraft. And we've got Portal Gun. Uh, computer Craft. Uh, that's new from last time. Of course, IC2. 
is back in, and the chests. Continue going through. Uh, we got Railcraft, of course. There's a lot of new changes in Railcraft, and I'm excited to start playing with them. Misscraft again. Uh, we got Forestry, of course. What are all these Boojum Woods and... I've never heard of a few of these. I've no idea where it's come from. <laughs> Soul Cages. Now, that is from the Soul Shards mod. It allows you to basically... Uh, once you kill 100 mobs, I think it is, with this soul cage, um, it basically creates a... Or oh, no, you... you let me try this. Uh, let's grab a soul shard. Basically, you have this down here. I think you then go and kill stuff. So let me grab that. Now I don't know if it works on passive mobs. No, I don't think it does. So let's get a spawn. Let's grab a zombie. So we spawn the zombie in, we kill him, and basically that codes into the soul shard that every zombie you kill is going to go into this, and once you get a hundred, I think you get the, let me get a, uh, you get the tier one. So let me, now that we've got that blank tier one, let's grab another zombie. No? Do I need to get rid of that? Can only have one at a time, I suppose. There we go. Now that we've got the Soul Shard, Soul Shard 1, Tier 1 of Zombie, I can basically put it in there. And we've got a Mob Spawner. So, that is a good mob. Done by Shadow Dragon. Definitely going to be fun playing around with. Get some mob traps up. So let's continue going. Logistics pipes, of course, is back in. Cannot do without my logistics pipes. Logistic pipe, logistics pipes have changed quite a bit. You actually need to power your logistics pipes now in order to use them in your system. So it's a great addition. Definitely will be fun to play with. Like I said, I will most likely be doing a, uh, I suppose, a, a mod spotlight on the mods in my pack once it is released. Uh, portal gun, of course, still in. And where is the other one that I just... Oh, I didn't add it in. Well, what else is added in in newer versions is uh, gravity gun. Basically works like the gravity gun from... Um, Half-Life series. And here we've got uh, diamond buckets. Basically adds a whole bunch of buckets. You can make a wooden bucket. Which, of course, is the recipe of three wood and two sticks. This will basically allow you to get water buckets earlier on. So basically, once you click the water, you get 20 seconds to use that water before it will disappear. So each of the uh, buckets have a different effect. And there we go. That's basically it the bucket will break and water will spill everywhere. Diamond Buckets is a great mod. Uh, we got fa fa Facades from Buildcraft. Uh, of course the Choco Craft stuff, the Millionaire stuff. Uh, some more Industrial Craft stuff. And yeah, there are quite a few mods in here which are purely visual, such as item text. Uh, we've got uh, what is it? Uh, the better pressure plates. And there's a few others. Uh, if you want the full list of what's going to be in the pack, uh, there is a forum, po forum post on the Ace Doggy Team forums under the Almighty pack. So, yeah. 
like I said, this I hope this is going to be out, you know, as soon as possible. As soon as Red Power's out, I'm going to get this out as soon as possible. Um, so yeah, in the meantime, I'll be working very hard on the new Ace Dogger Team launcher, which again is very exciting, so there's quite a few changes coming, which we at the Ace Dogger Team are very so it's proud of being able to provide you guys a great launcher with all these different mod packs and yeah so that's basically it don't forget guys if you want to see me do something play a game or do something for YouTube let me know if there's something you want to see uh, we'll be doing the almighty pack of course uh, let's play as soon as it's out and yeah don't forget to check out the Ace Soccer Team forums to stay up to date with the launcher and what's happening with this mod pack. And yeah, I suppose then I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.